Ode to Aptera, the most efficient vehicle on the planet. <laughs> to my Aptera journey. This channel is intended to share with you the thrill of 150 kilowatts of power going from 0 to 60 in sub 4 seconds. In the exhilaration of a mountain twisting road in the lightweight all-wheel drive Aptera. But we don't have an Aptera yet, but there are some things I'd like to share with you today. I'd like to share with you current financial market conditions because they are relevant to when Aptera has an IPO and they will have an IPO. I'd like to share with you a little information I know about an important Department of Energy employee and share that with you. And then finally, I'd like to share with you some highlights of an interview I did with two fabulous women Aptera ambassadors. So let's get right to it. Part one, current financial market conditions. Banks go pop in the night. We recently saw the collapse of some notable banks, inc including cryptocurrency-based Silvergate, Private Bank, Signature Bank, Venture Capital Supporter, Silicon Valley Bank, and Niche Lender, First Republic, who's Secrebello. The Federal Reserve is still raising interest rates. In face of volatile securities and bond market, the Fed opted to continue raising rates, this time by 25 basis points, in its campaign against inflation. It's not a good time for Aptera to go public. But the market will not give them the best value for what they have to offer. But they will go public, uh, but now is not a good time. Well, I'll pause for a minute. If you like this video, please click like. Please subscribe. It helps the channel. And you'll see that there's a QR code on your screen that will earn you 30% off your Aptera reservation. And it also helps this channel. Thank you. Part two. A special Department of Energy employee. While I don't have her to interview, I would like to virtually at least through conversation, introduce you to a person who I think is going to be increasingly important to Aptera Motors, Chelsea Sexton. Why do I think that Chelsea is going to be important for Aptera Motors? Let me share with you a little bit about Chelsea Sexton. In the spring of 2021, Chelsea joined the U.S. Department of Energy's Loan Program Office to help deploy federal loans and loan guarantees to propel sustainable transportation solutions over the last commercialization hurdle. And who might need that kind of assistance? Aptera Motors. Aptera Motors is applying, or has already applied for, 
the loan program offices advanced technology vehicle manufacturing loan program. We don't know the details of the application, but when I spoke to the a CFO of Aptera last, she said, yes, we're in the process of applying and it should be submitted soon. So let me tell you why I think Chelsea Sexton is important so you can understand her role at the loan program office and how that might meld well for Aptera Motors. Chelsea, not long after graduating from college, was hired by General Motors with about 20 other 20-somethings to help bring about the first modern electric car, the EV1. And Chelsea says, there were no silos at General Motors at the time. We wrote the training manuals, trained the dealers, taught the Department of Motor Vehicles how to register an electric vehicle, worked with customers, and helped stand up market incentives. In fact, her team even helped install electric vehicle chargers. However, in 2001, the production of the EV1 stopped. Sexton, Chelsea, lost her job, but she found her calling. In the years that followed, she became an independent consultant and worked with automakers and utilities to encourage EV deployment. She worked with venture capital companies to identify investment-worthy companies. And she co-founded the Consumer Advocacy Organization, Plug in America. And she was featured on the documentary, Who Killed the Electric Car? Fast forward to November 2021, the same year that Chelsea joined the Department of Energy. DOE awarded $200 million to 25 projects working to put clean cars and trucks on the road, including long haul trucks powered by batteries and fuel cells and to help improve the EV charging infrastructure in our country. So my guess is that Chelsea Sexton is going to be an instrumental player with Aptera and the U.S. Department of Energy. I think that's worthy of noting. And remember, if you like this video, subscribe, click the like button, it helps. And there's a QR code here to get you 30% off your Aptera Motors pre-order. Part 3. Highlights from a recent interview I had with two women ambassadors of Aptera Motors. And as I think about it, this video actually features three fabulous women. Thank you. Uh, I have the honor and pleasure of introducing to you a couple women of Aptera. Uh, I have today with you uh, Sandrine from Louisiana and Julia from Colorado. And these lovely individuals are Aptera reservation holders, investors, and ambassadors. So welcome to you both to my Aptera journey. Thanks, Thanks for having us. What attracts you to the Aptera? Um, so Aptera is, is just embodies everything that I could ever want about a car. It's highly aerodynamic at its core, um, sustainable as a concept. Um, it's like a perfect marriage of those two concepts too, um, with solar as the finishing touch just brings it to a whole new level. Um, you know, the, the whole never charge thing, especially if you're in a solar area is, or not necessarily solar, but just a very sunny area is going to be a very, very big draw for a lot of people, I think. 
Hey, Julian. Well, what attracts you? Things, but um, but uh, I, I feel like I feel like the auto industry uh, has been really boring and innovative for decades and decades and decades, and uh, I think Tesla kind of knocked that out of the park. And now all the legacy automakers are sort of scrambling to to even produce an EV by you know taking their ice cars, ripping out the the engine and sticking in a battery and stuff. Um, but the, I mean, what, what kind of excites me, one of the things that kind of excites me about electric vehicles is suddenly the whole transportation industry has opened up as far as innovation. I mean, we have no idea what they'll be like in 10 years, probably, probably different from what we think. Just like when the iPhone first came out, no one would have predicted all the ways that it has transformed society. Um, so, so innovation is a huge thing, and honestly, Aptera is is one of the most innovative EV companies there are, really. And and the 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 cool thing is basically they take took one concept, which is efficiency, and they basically say, sort of it's almost like an experiment. Let's see how far we can go with this. You know, let's see how efficient we can make it. And um, and um, you know, luckily. Uh, Form followed function, and the most efficient uh, efficient shape was also incredibly beautiful, which is nice too. So, um, so I'm just, you know, a lot of it's a lot of innovation. I just like to follow really any company that's doing things that no one else has done before. Um, but also, like Sandrine, you know, the idea of having um, basically this vehicle that I might never have to put any fuel in in any way. Um, you know, it's great for the planet and, you know, it, it's great for the pocketbook and it's just a cool idea. These two fabulous women had some wonderful insights and I want to thank them once again for sharing time with me and with you. Remember, if you like this video, click like, subscribe. It helps this channel. QR code to get your 30% off your pre-order reservation. Thank you. Thank you for viewing my Aptera journey. And until the next time we share some time together, I want to say, please be well, be healthy, do good work, and charge on. Take care. Drilling, can't you see? We're done. Taking off from the sun No more drilling